questions for Trey and Tyrese? Yeah, guys, uh, obviously you fell into a big hole, 15 to 2. Uh, what, what changed? What was said? How did you guys flip the script? Uh, it was just kind of... It was kind of like in the timeouts. We're just like we're coming out slow right now. We just gotta kind of pick this up. We're we most definitely like we're a great team, you know. But showing consist consistency and coming out with energy is probably like our biggest flaw right now. We just gotta start doing that more often. Well, every game for real, not more often, but just every game coming out with good energy. Who spoke up? What was said? Anything that really got you guys to turn it around? Uh, just kind of like Coach Shaw, you know, like. But we also knew, so like he didn't really have to say too much. But we knew that we had to come out with better energy, so. Yeah, it was, but it's coach shot for the most part, and some of the other veterans like Casey, Cooks, Al, Femi, and Trey. Trey, you really uh, kind of keyed that run in the first half. Though you had the dunk and uh, another basket. What, you know, what were you doing to kind of energize the team? Um, really, whatever I could. Um, I, I seen that we were a little stagnant on offense, so I knew that we had to get easy buckets. So I was looking to get to the rim. Tyrese, what do you think of the way Trey has come on? both ends of the court and helped you guys fill this six-man role you know, while Dre's recovering? Uh, came out great. You know, we needed that energy. If it wasn't for the second line, to be honest, in the beginning of the game, like I don't think we probably would have won this game. So Dre was a big aspect for that. You know, it had some good rebounds, putbacks, great dunk to get us energized and the crowd energized. So yeah, I just think he plays great. I think he's going to continue to do what he does, you know. So you've been here long enough to know about this program's history. The 1988 team, the first team ever to make the NC tournament, was honored before the game. You know who PJ Carlissimo is. Yeah. He uh, he was saying, telling us at halftime, how much he loves the way this team defends and how hard you guys play. What is it for him to say something like that? What does that mean to you guys? Uh, it means a lot. You know, he's been around basketball his whole life, so he's and he's seen great teams. So and he also coached a great team as well. So I think that means a lot. You know, he sees potential in us, and coming from him, that that means a lot. Did you guys get a chance to meet him or Mark Bryant, who's here? Um, I like when the end of the warm ups, we got to like shake some of their hands, but we didn't get to like really speak and on nothing. Else, but. Okay. Do you know anything about Mark Bryant? He was like a you know a, a all Big East great big man here. Does that name ring a bell? Nah, I just been seeing on Twitter all week. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrese, every every game's big for you guys, but you got Creighton here Wednesday. They've kind of traditionally caused problems by scoring a lot of points. How big is that game, and what do you have to do to slow them down? Just communicate, uh, have active hands, and just, you know, they have, the main thing is communicate, though. Crane's a great team. They move a lot, have a lot of good shooters. You know, just communicating and talking and having active hands is just going to be, like, the key to that game for the most part. Bill? Yeah, Trey, can you, can you give me your comments about your performance today? You had some key baskets, you know, when it, when it's needed. Give me your, your perspective on that. I'm really just going out there doing what I do and doing whatever helps the team win. Um, and that's really it. Okay. Tyrese, big picture question. You guys have won 8 out of 10. The 0 3 Big East starts in the rear view mirror. What's, what's different now? What's the feel? And how, how have you guys been able to manage this consistency now? Oh, uh, it's just kind of like we're just it's meshing at the right time, you know? Like the, the way we mesh right now and the way we like. We have like this togetherness. I feel like it's hard. It's hard to play against us when we have when we're like this. You know, we started off slow. Like today, we started off slow. But I feel like because we're just so connected now and we're always with each other, I feel like winning these games it just becomes a lot easier. You know, because we're so connected. How much different is this team than the one that played Creighton a month ago out there? A completely different team, for sure. Like um, back then, we were just kind of like we're still new to each other. Also, a lot of the players were new to the Big East, so they didn't like really understand it yet. But I feel like now everyone understands the Big East and like how the vows are called and just like the hostility of the Big East. So I feel like everyone understands that now, and I just think that we're a completely different team. So it's gonna be a good game on uh, what's that Wednesday? Yeah, Trey, you said a moment ago you do what you do. What is it that you do? that helps this team and what's happened in the last half dozen or so games where it's come out a little bit more than the beginning of the year? Um, <clears throat> really I think it's just getting adjusted to a new role in this team but I feel like I, can, I come in and play defense, I can finish out the room, I can shoot the ball. I feel like I'm an all-around versatile player and that, that helps the team for sure. And how much did that transition set you back like what was it like to have to go through that transition um it was it was a it was a learning process i wouldn't i don't say 
I don't want to say anything negative about it because like, that's not what I got from it. It was just an opportunity for me to grow more as a player. So that's what I took away from it. Anything else for these guys? All right, Coach Oliver, you're soon. Thanks, Thank you. guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.